Welcome back. Nearly two weeks ago at the Paralympic Games, Tico native Susanna Scaroni went into the lead in the 5,000 meters with over seven and a half laps to go. She thought the competition would catch up. They never did. I sat down with Susanna as she's now back from Tokyo and is able to process the win. Susanna Scaroni, gold medalist. How does that sound? <laughs> Um, it sounds good. I like the sound of that. <laughs> Being a gold medalist isn't the end-all be-all for Scaroni, though. This is. It's not necessarily the winning that mattered. It's kind of like my best effort was like the best. And so I feel very happy because of that. The backstory on how Susanna won, though, is fascinating. Athletes normally switch off pulling for long distance wheelchair races, a.k.a. being in the lead and pushing the group. When Susanna was done pulling and ready to let someone else jump ahead, she realized no one was around her. The speedometer she usually uses wasn't working due to electronic interference in the stadium. So she she had no idea how fast she was going. She was concerned that she'd come out too hard pulling and eventually would get dropped by the group. She couldn't even rely on the jumbotron to see where her competitors were because it was showing field athletes. She decided to just keep going hard and see where it took her. By the time like it was my bell lap, I waited until I heard the next person's bell lap and I realized like that person probably wasn't going to catch me. And so I just like went as hard as I could on that last lap. Um, and I'm shocked. Like that was not my plan at all. And I just kind of wanted, like I said, to be conservative so that it, when they caught me, which they should have, um, I would be okay. And I wouldn't just be streamlined, but um, they never did. Scaroni is known for only having one speed, fast, which sometimes doesn't pay off in more tactical races. Honestly, it was eye-opening because I truly believe now that, you know, knowing what your unique strengths are, um, are more important than like being worried about what you think always happens or that you need to do something new at the games. Perhaps Susanna's most unique strength though is the small community that raised her. Oh, it means a lot to represent Tico on the stage. They were always there for me. And I, as most kids in Tico want, you want to be an athlete because it's just such a big part of it. And so just to be able to have done it this long um, and let them see it was huge.